admittedly, the title of this video might seem like clickbait, but I can assure you that there are four nuclear bombs in this video. You can't get four bombs in just a single game, that's just impossible, and even with the game modes featured in this game, you just can't. So, I've stitched together footage of four of the eight times I've received a nuclear kill streak in Call of Duty Mobile before the most recent update to 10.8 or whatever it is. For the first one, I actually couldn't believe I was able to get the nuclear kill streak while it's screen recording. There I was, just sniping, doing my thing, and it hadn't even occurred to me that I hadn't died yet and that I was slowly creeping up on activating the kill streak. I got to my second wave of kill streaks without a death and then. Okay, so that didn't happen, but it did happen after I activated the kill streak. I was super excited once I saw the timer counting down and went ballistic, pun intended, after it went off. It was a good day. For the second one, I only got footage of the aftermath. I was pretty disappointed because I only remembered that I wasn't screen recording until after it happened, and all I was able to get footage of was just the fallout after, which is just a smoke screen of dust and dirt. But I can assure you though that I did get one in this game. It also served as a good lesson to always be recording. Next up is another unlucky one. For this one, it was pretty slow as far as my kills went. All I wanted to focus on was making sure that I was conservative in the way that I played so that I could get the kill streak, mainly because the map is a close quarters combat kind of map. In the end, I was able to get the kill streak at the end of the friggin' game. Of course, I activated it, but I didn't get to watch it go off. But it still counts though. I'll claim that one too. For the last one, I did something which is probably a big no no. I did everything normal, as I usually do when I play Sniper camp at the back and cover all my boys and get those extra kills by using my kill streaks. And no, camping isn't what I don't want you to do. I'm getting there. So I set up my last kill streak and then I run to the top of the building and attempt to snipe and out of sheer luck I get a kill and I activate the nuclear and while I do it I'm standing right in view of the opposition just you know on a platter for any of them to take down and it's actually a miracle that I wasn't shot while I was up there activating it and I was up there a very long time so they had plenty of time to kill me and this is the lesson it's that you should probably find a nice hiding place to activate the kill streak instead of staying out in the open like me anyway that ends the game and the scores show why I wasn't killed obviously the opposition weren't the best out there the disparity between the scores just shows the level of opposition that we were playing and obviously my team just muscled our way to a victory. Anyway, if you read the title of this video then you know that this is the first of a two-part series that I'm putting together. I'm definitely working hard to have the other one out soon after this so stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching and supporting the channel. As always, remember to play safe in games and in life and I'll catch you in the next one.